Alrighty, so here we are, uh, doing a vlog currently. Just got, uh, just got finished up with the live stream. It's about, wow, uh, seven something. The clock says it's 8.42, but that is a very wrong clock, and I know that. Um, so, uh, it, this isn't really gonna be like a vlog style vlog. Normally when I do that, it's about my life and stuff going on and stuff like that. This, this is a special video. You see, it's currently Saturday. And my girlfriend went out of town for the weekend. She went out of town today to go visit family all the way in Pennsylvania. Far into Pennsylvania. Very far into Pennsylvania. She's currently driving home now. And it's going to take her about four more hours to get here. So I figured, why not cook her dinner when she gets home? I have two issues with that. One... I'm really not sure what I'm going to cook, and two, if I don't know what I'm going to cook, I don't know what to get from the store. But I figured, who knows, maybe we'll go there anyway, and uh, we'll figure out what I need. In the meantime, uh, however, we are here in my kitchen because I was trying to clean up to make it nice and presentable for the camera, and then went kind of crazy on it. But, um, oh my goodness, my arm is getting tired, it normally doesn't happen. Cat is meowing at me. What? What's the matter? What's wrong, kitty cat? She's mad for some reason. But, um, alright, so let's go get on our uh, shoes and a jacket because it's actually quite chilly outside. And I'm realizing now that the quality of this whole video just dropped because I moved into a low light environment. That kind of sucks. Oh well, let's, uh, let's get back into the car and uh, drive our way to the store. <laughs> Many, how do I choose? I think I'll take this one. Looks good. Of course, when I have to get something, they don't have the things I need. Rosemary? But no dill. Hmm. Never will I ever need this much dough in my life, but I suppose I'll get it anyway. Alright, so I think I just about got everything, but uh, some things were missing, like the recipe I'm making calls for uh, some coarse mustard it doesn't exist here so uh, I'm gonna have to make that on my own it looks like just got some mustard seed gonna rub that in that'll be nice and uh, on to explore some other aisles for other things and of course last but not least also knocking stuff over oh no just been uh, you know informed about about uh, 20 minutes ago I have about an hour to cook this meal and that was 20 minutes ago so I'm gonna have to put the, uh, the pedal to the metal to get this cooked on time but uh, let's start with ingredients shall we 
All right, so I'm gonna be making a uh, honey mustard chicken glaze that's gonna go on top of a pasta. So of course we have our chicken here, and then there's there's rosemary and dill and Dijon and the mustard seeds and actual honey. And uh, hopefully I can make it figure or I can figure out how to make it uh, taste good. I don't I don't have too comp too much confidence in this meal. It's gonna it's gonna take some serious work. Oh boy, so, all right, we got our sauce here. That's uh, our glaze that's being whipped up right now. I'm currently in the middle of uh, whisking it up a little bit, uh, but I am really not sure how this is turning out. It is, uh, it, it, it tastes good. It tastes like honey mustard should, but it's got a little bit of spice that I'm not sure I'm happy with. And I've tried to uh, counterbalance it with some things and it's, it's just, the spice is still noticeable. Whatever, it's in there. It'll be fine, I'm sure. In the meantime, our oven is preheating to 400 degrees. It's about uh, a little over halfway there. And uh, now I have to put the chicken on the pan. I think I'm gonna throw some dill on top of it while it's baking, then throw the rosemary on uh, about halfway through. And then I'm gonna stick that in the oven. And while that's going, we are going to uh, work on some of the salad and extraneous things that are gonna go along with it. So, uh, it's looking pretty good on there, and uh, now, in hindsight, as I'm looking around at all my ingredients, I'm realizing, uh, olive oil. That was supposed to go into the sauce. That's probably what was missing from the sauce. I have a feeling this will work nicely, though. I feel like it will work without the olive oil. If not, there goes $9 worth of chicken down the drain, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, boy. Alrighty, it's all covered up and ready to go right inside the oven. There we go. Slide you right along there like that. Alrighty. <sighs> Don't disappoint me now, chicken. Alright, for uh, part two of what might be three courses and might not. Oops, should probably set a timer on this, shouldn't I? That'd probably be a good plan, wouldn't it? Start. Alright, 20 minutes in the oven. Alright, for this, uh, for the next part of my trick, I'm gonna need a cutting board. I wish I remembered where I put it. My chicken sounds like it's jumping at me. Anyway, in the meantime, where did I put my cutting board? Cutting board. Uh-oh. Found it. I forgot I had put it in the dishwasher. All right, so for this next part, cucumbers, tomatoes, some mayo, and whatever else I want to put in this thing. Alright, so the oven's beeping. It's been about 20 minutes. Time to pull this stuff out. Let's get our oven mitt right here. Grabby, grabby. Note to self, kids watching this, do not pull stuff out of the oven while vlogging and using one hand. This is only meant to be used by trained professionals who have to do this in their everyday job, like me. Alrighty, let's find another edge to pull off some of this tin foil. Let's see how this has been going. Ooh. It's quite interesting. I like the smell. Alrighty, so that needs to be put down there. Mmm, really smells good. Alright, now they say to add some salt. Some salt to the whole thing. Add in some pepper for good luck. And now, last but not least, time to rebase the whole thing again in sauce. Alrighty, now that everything's all nice and good to go, just gonna pick it up right here. Like so. Oh, careful some of that doesn't drip off the side there. Gonna take it here. Carefully place it back into the oven and hope that it turns out okay. Uh, Alright. Close that up. Restart the timer. 
put that all the way up to 20 minutes again. Ah, we'll probably do 30 this time. And hit start. In the meantime, we get to finish up our uh, cucumber and tomato salad here. So I was just finishing up adding in some garlic salt into the mix, and then we'll mix it all together. We'll probably need more than this, but who knows? Maybe it'll work. All right, time to just finish mix, mix, mixing everything up here. And boy, this just tastes delicious. I already tried a little bit and it, oh, knocks your socks off. This is actually, so apparently this is a very southern type recipe. The mayo with the, the you know, all the vegetables mixed all together. But uh, my dad used to make it for me when we were younger. And that's just how I know how to make it. But uh, in the meantime, this goes in the fridge while we wait for the chicken to be done. And then uh, I think that'll be good for tonight. <sighs> Alrighty, so I'm waiting here now. The uh, chicken's in the oven. I've been smelling it just like sitting there slowly watching its progress. It seems, seems so good. Like, at first I wasn't quite sure about the flavor of it and how everything was gonna mix together, but, oh, it just, it looks so good. But, um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna sit here and probably watch some videos on YouTube. Just chillax, it's got about, like, uh, 18 more minutes left on it. It's got 18 minutes, traffic is backed up on 22 as usual, because that is a terrible, terrible road. So, people are gonna be late getting here which is awesome. Everything should be ready and done by the time they get here. So hopefully everything will go according to plan. That's hopefully. But uh, yeah, I we will uh, continue on there and get maybe like a taste test of everything going on. Hopefully it'll be good. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video that was just uh, playing before your eyes. I, uh, I enjoyed recording the whole thing and I guess I wouldn't call it a vlog, more so just like a just a thing that I decided to do spontaneously, um, record myself cooking a meal. I don't know, I thought it'd be a fun idea, and I really I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed editing it and putting it together, and uh, I just enjoyed the whole concept of it. It's different than what I would normally do on the channel here. Um, if you guys liked it, leave a like, a comment, uh, subscribe if you like the whole channel. It uh, really means a lot, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll make some more things like this in the future. Uh, yeah, I'm on spring break right now, so maybe I'll throw together some skits or something in the future. Try to do something with more people. I don't know. But, um, hopefully you guys really enjoyed that as much as I did. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this is a step in the right next direction of doing things uh, that I enjoy doing here on the channel. But, um, other than that, if you guys, uh, enjoyed the channel, subscribe, stick around, follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, I think think i have an instagram it's somewhere buried deep in the dark corners of that website but uh other than that if you guys enjoyed um then i hope i'll see you all in the next video